A and B together have 1210 rupees. If 4 15th of A's amount is equal to 2 fifths of B's amount, how much amount does B have? 4 15th of A's amount is equal to 2 fifths of B's amount. So 4 15th of A's amount, let it be A, is equal to 2 fifths of B's amount. So 2 fifth of B's amount, right? Let us calculate the ratio of A and B here. So we have A by B is equals to 2 by 5 times 15 by 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 3 is 15. So 3 by 2. Therefore, the ratio of A and B is A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. So A has 3 out of 5 parts of money, right? 3 fifths of money, and B has two-fifths of money. Why? Because the ratio is 3 is to 2 and it shows that A has three parts and B has two parts and the total number of parts is just the addition of these ratios. So 3 plus 2 is 5. There are in all five parts and out of that B has two parts. So therefore the amount that B has is equal to two-fifths of the total money. That is 2 by 5 times 1, 2, 1, 0. This is equal to 242 times 2, which is 484. So the correct option is option number 2. Two numbers are respectively 20% and 50% more than a third number. The ratio of the two numbers is. Well, let the third number be x. Now, the two numbers are 20% and 50% more than the third number. And we want the ratio of the two numbers. So the first number is 20% more than the third number. So, which is 100 plus 20% of x. So 120% of x upon the second number is 50% more than the third number. So 150% of x. So we have the ratio 120% of x divided by 150% of x. So this is equal to 120 upon 100x divided by 150 upon 100x. 100 and x get cancelled out. These zeros also get cancelled out. What remains is 12 by 15 and 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 4 by 5 as the ratio. So the ratio is 4 is to 5. Option C is the correct answer. The ratio of number of boys and girls in a college is 7 is to 8. If the percentage increase in the number of boys and girls be 20% and 10% respectively, what will be the new ratio? Okay, let us assume that the number of boys is B and the number of girls is G. So we have been given the ratio of boys and girls. So B by G is 7 by 8. Or I can say that because the ratio is 7 is to 8, I can assume that B, that is the number of boys is 7x and the number of girls is 8x, right? Now, percentage increase in the number of boys and girls is 20% and 10% respectively. So, so the new number of boys is B1, which is equals to 20% increase in the previous number. So 120% of the previous number which is 7x. Now the new number of girls is G1 which is equals to 10% increase in the previous number. So 110% of the previous number which is 8x. Right. Now what we want is the new ratio that is B1 is to G1 which is equals to, we have, let's do it right here itself. So we can cancel out the hundreds, the x, and the zeros as well. So b1 by g1 is equals to 12 times 7 divided by 100 times 8. So 4 3s are 12 and 4 2s are 8. So 3 7s are 21 divided by 11 2s are 22. So the new ratio is 21 
is to 22. So option C is the correct answer. If 40% of a number is equal to two-thirds of another number, what is the ratio of first number to the second number? So let these numbers be A and B. So we want the ratio of first number to the second number. So we want A is to B. Right. Now A is to B can be written as A by B. And that's what we have to find out. And we can find that out from the information that is given to us. 40% of the first number is equal to two-thirds of the another number. So I have 40% of the first number, 40 upon 100 times the first number is A, is equal to the two-thirds of another number. So two-thirds of another number. Okay. So these zeros get cancelled out. What I have is A we want a by b so let's bring this b down here so a by b is equals to 2 by 3 is as it is times 10 by 4 so 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 5 is 10 so a by b is equals to 5 by 3 so this is 5 is to 3 so the ratio is 5 is to 3 option d is the correct answer